Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy, the DoorDash Revolution. Smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like, share this video, and leave comments down below. I have just got through uh, doing an order, and customers that look at this channel, this is food for thought for you to learn. I had an order to drop off at a gated community, and the um, customer didn't leave a gate code. I called them three times. They didn't even have a voicemail because the voicemail was full. Okay. And then I went ahead to try to get in touch with the leasing management and all of that. They were in a meeting. So I went ahead and called Drive Support. I explained the situation to them, let them know that I couldn't get in that I called several times. I gave them the uh, customer name that was on the app. I gave them the uh, restaurant that I received the order from. And I gave them the drop off destination um, location. And I text the customer, let them know that I left the food at the office. And the representative told me to go ahead and take a picture of the food being left in the office. Plus, the representative got in touch. I mean, they didn't get in touch, but they called the customer. She said she tried to get in touch with them three times. Same results. No answer. The voicemail was full. They couldn't, she couldn't leave no you know, message or nothing. I text the message. No soon as I took the picture, it's marked complete. It's out of my jurisdiction. It's out of my hands. I, I can't mess with the order after that. So... Then the, rep, uh, then the leasing manager going to come running out of the office as I was pulling off, telling me, I'll let you in, you know, to the uh, uh, so you can take it back there. I said, ma'am, I don't even know, remember the address now. Because, see, once, once I mark it as complete and I got the DoorDash uh, driver support team to verify that it's complete, there's nothing else I can do with it. Well, we can't keep the food or whatever. Well, uh... It's on the bag right there with the customer name and, you know, and all of that. They supposed to be up here because I text them and all of that. Well, DoorDash this, DoorDash that. No, customers, this is what you got to understand. Us drivers been telling telling, telling y'all all, all the time. You know, we've been complaining about it all the time. We rant and we rave about it all the time. You know, um, about give us a gate code. Give us a gate code. You know, give us a gate code. You know you're not going to answer your phone. Give us a gate code when you're at a gated community. You know, because we don't have time to be going in the leasing office and they having a meeting going on. And then we, we, can't, we can't wait around just like that. So to be mindful, food for thought for customers, when you have your delivery driver getting your food, please answer the phone. Please answer the phone. Leave in the delivery instructions, the gate code, so we can get in and drop off your delivery. Because once we get get it approved and get it verified, the, the, the only place we can leave it at is at the leasing office. And if the leasing office personnel is up on a man uh, up on a meeting at that time frame, we dropped it off in the in the vicinity of the location of where you live at. I text you, letting you know it was in the leasing office. Then once we take the picture, it's complete. The job is complete. It's no longer in our hands anymore, ladies and gentlemen. So please, people that got gate gate codes and all of that, you know you got gate codes, put it in the delivery instructions. Please. Especially when you know you're not going to be able to get to the phone and answer the phone. That way, it will resolve the problem. That way, drivers don't get deactivated and all of that. Now, food for thought for drivers... You do your due diligence, you do your step-by-step -step process, and you get documentation, written documentation. You also get verbal documentation. You also write down the time, the name of the customer, their address, and all of that, in case you got to do a detail, a, a, a descriptive narrative on what went on, uh, unless the customer, because the customer going to call and say, look, I didn't get my order, and you know, and they didn't go up there and follow the instructions that was in the text. Text them. Put everything in text when you text that customer. 
okay, if that customer don't follow those instructions and everything, then it's not on you and it'll avoid keeping you from getting deactivated. Peace, take care, and I thought that some people needed to know that one, especially the brand new drivers and everything. Those just, just don't just drive off with the food, people food. That's how you get deactivated. So be sure you do your due diligence. You know, if you can't get the gate code, then you know you drive over to see can you get it from the leasing manager. But if the leasing manager biz or any of their representatives biz, they in a meeting, all you can do is call your representative and you know show a physical address, physical place where you took the photo or where you left it at. Make sure you put in instructions, letting the customer know where you dropped that order off. Peace, take care, have a great one. We'll see you in the next video.